Welcome back to this episode of Emergency Intercom. I'm sure you're very confused. Um, I have bad news. Me and Drew actually got COVID over the holidays, so we're both stuck at home right now in our birthplaces. Drew's here, but he's taking like forever to get on screen. He was here for a second and then he was like, oh, I need to go use the bathroom and like cough like myself to peace before we start so he doesn't cough while we're talking. Um, and he's kind of just been like gone since. Um, but I just thought I should I'm start. Here. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hold on. No, he's he's being such a fucking piece right now. He was fine. He was fine like ten seconds ago. <laughs> what is that? What do you have? <laughs> Hold on. Is that pee? Does he have pee, Kai? Everybody's no, pee. it looks like piss. Drew, can you hear us? Hello? Yeah, are you? You can hear us, right? What yeah, are you, can y'all hear me? You, yeah, we can. Yeah, what are you wearing? Good. Like, what's going on? Why, wait, why do you have a mask on also? Like on top of everything? Where did all this come from? And why do you have a mask on? You're literally home alone. I have COVID. <sighs> I know. And so do I. Actually, Kai might have it too. So it's like, yeah. What do you... I woke up with a sore throat. Sorry. Hold on. Let me fix my, my IV. <laughs> you know that. Why the fuck do you have an IV? You don't need an IV. <laughs> it's this new thing. <laughs> it's this new, like, drug that they're giving it's called piz um <laughs> so piss? it's with two z's no oh, okay. <laughs> i think you got scammed i think i think you were sold an ivy bag full of piss no, well whatever it is it's working and there's so. there's no cure for covid also you were fine like two seconds ago you were fully wearing like you were wearing like your normal i like, just think clothes. i'm Where did you're, you get that? you're mad at me for being safe I'm trying to be safe here and not give any of y'all COVID. And now you're pissed at me. Dude, we're on a Zoom call. You're not going to give us COVID. Oh, you're know, on that's, a Zoom that's call. The... You're on a Zoom call. Oh, my God. Call. That's, that's literally why we, we stayed, like, in our hometowns is to be safe. Like, we're being safe. You don't have to do Your mama. This. All right, hold on. Let me fix this IV real quick. I'm going to just push, put it around here just so it's, like, good for me um just because i need it connected at all times because if it actually disconnects i could fucking die is what the doctor was saying so i just have to like make sure it's just like in my wrist or disconnect from what it's like around your neck what are you talking no, about my wrist i was gonna say oh, oh okay. it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem like it's actually like going into you do you actually know nothing <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll know if it's real if by the end it's like depleted, right? Yep, exactly. And you have that set up that it's going to be going down. Oh, no. He's gone. We lost him. He's done. Wait, did he just pass out? Drew, wake up. Drew? Wake up. Drew! Drew! Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I'm going to keep going out of consciousness because this fucking muzzle on my face is actually making me not be able to breathe. <laughs> well, you can just you don't have that. You can just if y'all are comfortable me. with me taking the muzzle off, I'll take it off. Yeah, of course. We're in different <laughs> parts of the country. Oh my God. I thank you. I didn't okay, know I was in a just... lobby full of like freaking cucks. <laughs> I was well I was actually just about to say this whole time I've been positive and I've just carried on with life like I can't let this like something as simple as COVID stop me and like I didn't come to Miami with masks and I haven't had time to go buy any so I've just been like kind of chilling like taking it very easy like wait so you've just kind of been existing as you were before COVID just 
Yeah, it's my new normal. So wait, so you've been like going out? Yeah, but not every night because I'm not like an alcoholic or thing. But like, yes, I do go out every other night for a drink. If that's what you were asking. So you've been giving people COVID. You've been a super spreader. I haven't been near anyone. I'm only with my friends. Yeah, but your friends don't have COVID. So you've just been giving them COVID? I'm not giving them anything. Also, they said yes to going out with me. Like, maybe I wasn't clear. I, I was just like, oh, like, I have a stuffy nose and, like, a sore throat. And, like, at night, I, like, get a really bad fever. But you tested and, like, positive. That's a little... Yeah, but so what i'm telling people that i'm sick i'm just not being like i don't want to scare people be like oh my god i have covid like okay i'm the weirdo look at your setup you literally have an (laughs) iv and you're wearing a hat (laughs) (laughs) sorry the bag the bag keeps getting disconnected yo (laughs) it's so hot in this stupid fucking ass (laughs) I'm okay, let's die. <laughs> you can oh, take the head off. <laughs> take the fucking put it off. Do you have clothes on under there? No. Oh, take it off. Should I? <laughs> also, um, sorry, but on my end, it's kind of choppy. You're recording, right, Drew? Yeah, I'm recording. Because my Wi-Fi sucks balls, so it's like not the best on my end. Sorry, I literally had to just take that off because I am actually overheating and dying. That's okay. <gasps> also, <laughs> oh I can't. I can't. I'm so ugly. I'm so ugly. I need a hat. I'm so ugly and hot. <laughs> well, on a serious note, also, I just want to be clear. I have not been spreading COVID. I've actually been sitting in an Airbnb solo the past um, week i so. have been just quarantining with my family they they were kind of just like if we get it we get it and we've just been chilling um i'm okay i literally feel totally fine but yeah we both did get COVID though which is insane yeah i know and also i was so i was one of those annoying people who i was so positive that i would just never get it i like, thought you had the god I was like, in you I know because I was the only person we knew who hadn't gotten it and I was just like I don't know I'm just built different I'm different I kept saying that I was like I'm different I'm different but I'll explain how I got COVID and then you can try and explain but you don't know how the fuck you got it no I literally think I just got it on the plane right over here oh dude well I came to Miami and then literally like two three days before Christmas my little brother was really sick and I was like this motherfucker has COVID I was like there's no way he doesn't have COVID like he goes to public school and like is around a bunch of other kids who probably get it and don't say shit and like if you get it you get it and if you don't you don't is that are you saying that about COVID exactly if you get it you get it if you don't you don't (laughs) <laughs> if you know you know I, me to people yeah okay <laughs> oh y'all i'm just ugly today but you can't blame me i'm running fever i got covid like <laughs> no you look beautiful i got piss going into my system <laughs> um anyways long story short brother got it my mom and dad got it for my brother and I was being very cautious and my family was like girl like we're all gonna get it we're like here in the house and I was like no no I'm so sure that I will be the one to not get it so I literally ran away after Christmas like the day after Christmas I fucking ran away I packed all my things and I went to an Airbnb and I was safe for two days I don't even know if I told you this Drew but that laxative is literally what fucking kick-started my symptoms on top Damn. of getting COVID for the first time in my life, I got really constipated. Yep. So I called Drew and I was like, The constipation to- connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, you consume like feces or constipation? No, no, no. I'm the connoisseur of constipation. I just know everything there is to know about it, how to get rid of it, what drugs to take. 
yeah so i called uh, I the poop master himself or i guess you're not the poop master because you don't poop exactly. um <laughs> i prefer connoisseur constipation <laughs> so i asked drew what to get and i was like oh what's the thing that's gonna work the quickest and it was that like what is it magnesium magnesium citrate normally they come in glass bottles but i bet they were sold the fuck my out. shit was in plastic so that should have been a red flag but i i like can't express true i felt completely fucking fine other than the tall tail sign which everyone is realizing now is like the second you feel a sore throat you fucking have it like yeah you don't just have a sore throat you fully have covid and i had had a sore throat for like lingering and like coming up on me for two days but other than that i felt completely fine and i was testing every day and kept coming up negative and then on like monday night i tested negative literally that night then right after drank half of that bottle of magnesium and i'm not kidding Drew. within 15 minutes i went from being like normal to my health depleting to nothing and i was sitting on the couch and i literally was like sweating and i got really nauseous and i got like a really bad headache and it fully was just like all of my friends were around me so they were like watching my health just deteriorate and i was like go home because like i'm about to pass away like i'm, I'm about, about to, to explode die. shit out of my butt Dude, and then I like reluctantly was able to fall asleep, but I woke up to like an insanely high fever, shitting myself, just liquid ass. Yeah. Um, and then I like when I woke up to shit, I literally felt like I had drank like three quarters of alcohol. Like I felt like I drank like three gallons of alcohol. I was so dehydrated. <laughs> and then I tested because I was like, I don't know if it's normal for me to like feel like this after shitting um and then i tested positive so i think a laxative gave me covid Damn. personally the magnesium citrate bottles are contaminated with covid you heard it here first y'all yeah we're gonna get our youtube video taken down again because we're sitting here talking about <laughs> the one thing that got it taken down last time which is bullshit but i won't <laughs> get into it i digress but you too, i know just know i'm coming for you the thing is, everyone's like, I wonder what the joke was. And the joke literally wasn't even anything. No, like, it, was it wasn't even a joke. It was literally me standing for my opinion, stating my opinion. <laughs> See, YouTube is censoring us. They're coming weren't for you, me. Weren't you just paraphrasing what somebody else said? I paraphrased what someone said. And then I, after that, was like, I don't, uh, I don't believe in that. Literally, yeah, you, exactly you like that. condemned it immediately yeah. after. It's so crazy. Which is yeah, I think even before you said it, I think I like it was about something big Nick had said. And I was like, I love that. And then you were like, but he does so and so and so and so. And I don't I was, fuck with yeah. that. <laughs> but then after that, I was like, but I'll let him I'll let him do what he wants to do. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> what are we going to do? Sp spread his misinformation. But yeah, literally, my my experience with COVID was kind of like easy. I, I got lucky, but I think it was just because I was vaxxed. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Everyone who's was... like vaxxed up is having super mild symptoms. Yeah. I just, I don't understand. No, I can't, I can't even make a joke about it. I can't even make a joke about <laughs> it because I'm scared YouTube's going to fucking take it down. I know. Now I'm thinking about how I literally started this video off by saying like, what? I just told my friends I feel a little sick and I like still go out. <laughs> Dude, I can't stress enough to y'all how overheated and hot I am. I'm sure you can fucking tell because my face is like bright red and I'm greasy and oily and disgusting and sweaty. I think you look great. Honestly, I don't, I I don't know, see you the grease. You're kind of serving Jesus with the like yeah. the facial hair and the hair really yeah honestly when you came on screen i got, got pretty horny so really actually yeah yeah I did. okay especially because you okay. came in with your, your stick of piss it looked like um when moses or like whoever the fuck was going to split the sea and they had their big stick except yours has piss split on it and apparently it's going in your blood that's what i was going for that's what i was going for splitting the sea of piss i love that you caught on to that I, no he didn't split a sea of piss it was like just the ocean. I think, the sea of period said. blood. No, Drew. It's For just water. In my head, it is red. So I it's do the believe It's the red sea, the, the period blood sea. Yeah. 
because oh oh okay now i'm remembering moses was like get on the boat the girls have their period i don't want to be around them i'm going to chill with the animals and he split all the period blood the squirt blood the um did you know that <laughs> there's a <laughs> Sorry, I got a notification on my screen saying there was like a 40 time, minute time limit and we reached it, but then it was like, but I gifted you more hours. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I wasn't really paying attention. However, no, same when I, I like moved my light because I got the notification that I was like, the host extended the meeting, which is like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but did you know that church doors, like, you know, like the doors that like go like this and they like, they like meet at the top like that mm -hmm. they're like arched a little bit did you know yeah churches stole that from like pagan ideologies like pagan whatever and the pagan idea behind those doors was like you're walking like you're being welcomed home to the vagina every time so now every time you look at a church you're walking through a vagina and you there's vaginas all over the churches and they don't even realize it That's I'm the most serious. uber fact shit that's ever come out of your mouth. <laughs> You're pulling like a, a Christian on. in like 2018 I... right now. <laughs> no, okay. I actually think it is true. Um, but I know that is the most absurd thing I've ever said. <laughs> Sim simply. Drew, if you're too hot, you can you can take the the hazmat suit off. I've committed to the gag and I have to keep going. So no, you have you to keep can't, it on. You can't be you overheating can't and sweating. I look like I just like worked out 14 hours. <laughs> no, you can't take off your fucking hazmat suit because then you'll expose that that piss is not going in your body. It has not moved a single like inch. You actually don't know anything you're fucking saying, and I will expose you right now if you want me to. Do you want me to expose you? Can we see? Can we see where it goes into your vein? Can you just like prove? No, no, like where it go where the piss is going in. <laughs> It fucking fell out. Oh, it fell okay. out. Okay. So <laughs> why are you okay if you're not getting your like piss ID? Because I've been fucking oh. drinking it. <laughs> Have you not been seeing me drink it? Oh. I don't think that's how IVs work, but all right. Oh, okay, <laughs> Dr. Fucking Kai and in Inya. Y'all know so much. Oh no. He's getting angry now. You know, I was no man. I was I was gonna give you the plug to get a free negative test, but now I'm not gonna. And you're stuck home. How about that? That's Wait, that's how what? I'm getting home. I'm just Wait, faking I, a negative. <laughs> dude, no one's talking about how like maybe that's something we exposed this episode. It's just how many influencers were actually like faking negative tests. And negative. It, it was it was a real thing. It was like that was a real thing that they would be positive, but they would get a negative test um, and fake it. And dude, fully the amount of times like we wouldn't even have covid and so an influencer would just be like well if you need if, if you ever need a fake negative let me know yeah it i mean like, we're like y'all are fucking psycho and this was like early in the pandemic this wasn't like late stage like this was like like two months in like if you need a negative yeah, test was, to post online to prove that you're negative just hit us up we got you it was pre-vaccine which is insane oh but <laughs> Dude, what I did you use a the fake negative for like, what would you use it for? To post online that you're a negative if you got exposed at a party. Oh, I see. Okay. The whole exposing party, like, like <laughs> that shit's so funny. Like, you so know what I was so thinking? At a party. <laughs> so what I was thinking was I have so many positive at-home tests because I'm neurotic and I swear that, like, I'll test positive in the morning and then test negative at night. So I have so many positives. I'm going to start flipping them. And like, if you guys want to miss like work or miss like school and you don't want to go to school, like hit me online. Like I'll fucking sell you my positive test. And he's got a bunch of positives. <laughs> and then I'll just like, I'll like take random different like photos, like angles of like the test kit before and like after it's being used um, and whatnot. If you guys want that. Drew, are you okay? Drew. Drew. Drew! Wake up. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Like, the biggest symptom that I have is I just, like, fall asleep. <laughs> it's, like, so fucking weird. So fatigue. Wait, you yeah. fell asleep on the microphone like a cartoon. It's so weird. I can't explain it. 
I just feel like you're faking it. You're doing one of those because like I have it. Like I'm in it, but I'm sitting here. I'm like pretty. Like I look good. Like I look put together. Like I look really good. Like someone, some people would say like, Enya, are you sure you have COVID because you look so good? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And like for some reason, that's one of the symptoms I'm having is I just look really good. No, literally. Actually, I was blown away when I saw you first pop in the camera. I was like, oh, Enya looks really cute right now with her little bow ties in her hair. This is the first time I've put on real clothes and like looked normal for so long. <laughs> That's actually a lie though, because since my whole family had COVID, I got to spend New Year's with them. Um, so we had our own little COVID fiesta because uh-huh. we were, we just all had it. So we were like, let's blow up fireworks. And it was fucking awesome. I wish I bought more fireworks. Um, I'm literally a pyromaniac. No, same. That night I was like. You get it yeah fully there's like dude they're so expensive it's it's actually if you think about it it's legitimately burning money like it's it's setting money on fire but i wouldn't change it for the world like it's so much fun just like watching shit blow up and also just like knowing that something could go wrong at any moment and it doesn't just makes me feel so alive um i will say that was making me so anxious i got a really funny video on my handy cam of just like a tiny firework like zooming up and almost hitting my mom in the head um and the first firework that my family had set off that night I think it was just like my dad and like maybe my uncle it was like someone in my family like set it off and it just fucking exploded incorrectly and it literally sounded like a nuke went off in our yard um, and like everyone was very off put by it and like uncomfortable and just like we shouldn't do this uh but of course we kept going because god can't stop the fun i was about to say literally like actually nothing can stop me from blowing up fireworks like my literal brother died like three days before and i went and bought like a thousand dollars worth of fireworks and blew them bitches up nothing can stop it was a me. celebration exactly a nothing celebration can stop of life me. yep <laughs> but like yeah like i i said this a couple days ago but like if i wasn't doing what i'm doing right now like i would be a pyromaniac and i would be burning down buildings for fun fully um you might find that you'd be in jail no i'd be the best arson to ever live simply no arson is a poison true are you sure yes look it up like for real arsenic is a poison who is that you are literally dumb (laughs) i'm leaving i'm leaving i gotta go so no one's talking about this is my first coffee in like a week because i wasn't having any at the like when i was like symptomatic oh my god he fucking left. All right, I'm leaving too. Like, I'm not going to fucking Wait, what? Here. No, we could just... Okay. Um, now that she's oh. gone, okay. the boys can have a conversation and we can just chat, have All a right. good old time, a grand old time. All right, um, you want to talk about, like, crypto or sex or something? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sounded so fucking crazy on my end. It was the most insane sound I've ever heard. The Zoom tried to like, tried to like mitigate. <laughs> Level it out. Yeah, tried to like censor <laughs> it. <laughs> I was like, are we talking about me and Drew for the first time in our lives made Zoom accounts? Because you made yours today and I also made mine today. Like oh, I, I, yeah, no, I went the entire pandemic without using Zoom because I think this is a cursed app and I think it is like actually evil what it's done to society and i want to go i so badly just want to attend in-person meetings but i know it's just not good but like i think this is actually making us like socially dumb zoom zoom Zoom. why expand on that i don't have to (laughs) yeah kai like oh no kai gets a camera and a mic on him and all of a sudden he wants to ask us questions and prod us and make explain yep. things oh i'll my turn god. his fucking camera off yeah. next time he comes can you guys me. hear me still can you at least hear me oh i forgot to mute oh him. my god can you mute me. him damn okay he's muted okay. And see fucking... this 
see this is the way things should be did, it's just did you feel like a sense of like calm and like like just like a good energy just rush over once that happened or am I trying no like for real like when he was in here it felt like this weird like omnipresent like evil like something evil was lurking over us and at first I was like oh it's because we have COVID like yeah. so like the universe is out to get us they see us thriving yeah. and they're like we need to kill off this podcast it's doing too well mm -hmm. but I just realized it was it was literally Kai oh my god he's fucking texting me oh my god That's put me dang. back Okay. Just no. um, I don't think we should have him back. Like, what is what do we? Uh, a we're question. a guest I'll, having I'll podcast. Let him, I'll let him ask the question. Um, can you guys hear me? Oh, oh my question. god, that's bye, your fucking bye. question. Bye. I give him one <laughs> like, question. Wow, he asks, "Can you hear me?" <laughs> that has to be stupid. He has to be dumb. <laughs> um wait actually i saw uh because now there's like all these clip accounts coming up on my for you page on tiktok of the podcast and someone had a comment where they were like oh like i can't believe like these bits they do are just improv and someone some smart ass i was like I, if i could fucking reach the phone and smack the shit out of you i would they were like, isn't every conversation improv? I'm like, oh, are you in no. fucking fourth grade? <laughs> you are like the worst person ever. I can't get over how fucking greasy I am. <laughs> it's the fucking piss. It is the piss. I think it's the piss. I should disconnect now. <laughs> should I disconnect? Yes, you should probably stop your piss intake. Also, because we had a vow that you would only take my piss. And I don't know whose piss that is. And I, was, I didn't want to bring it up. It's pharmaceutical because I didn't want to grade. seem jealous. We made one exception, pharmaceutical grade piss. You know this. Okay. Oh, because mine isn't good enough anymore. No, uh, how am I going to get your piss in America? I mean, in Texas. No. New year, new piss, I guess. That's the new thing. Uh, yes, actually it is. Because if you're going to be a hating ass bitch, I'm not going to drink your piss anymore. Sorry. Okay. Well, you probably shouldn't have my COVID piss anyways. So, so are you going to apologize? I would why would I apologize to you? Typical. I need a cigarette. <laughs> Does it look like I need a cigarette right now? Girl, it, need you, it looks like you need to be put back into the asylum. <laughs> You're serving American Horror Story Asylum. <laughs> I need a cigarette, man. <laughs> no, I wanted a cigarette so bad. One of the first nights I was here, I was like, I was itching, but I didn't have one. My mom has a puff bar, so thank you guys. Thank you, world. My mom smokes puff bars now, but um, she's just like me. She just likes the flavor of it. I did not see her inhale a single bit of it. She was just tasting it. New year, new me. I stopped puffing, and then at the very beginning of this year, I started puffing again. Well, because according to everyone, like the world is ending, so you might as well do whatever you want. Did you see the like? Not to make this whole episode about disease, but like, did you see the Florona thing? No, and I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Florona, really? So it sounds yeah. pretty. It actually sounds beautiful. It sounds like a beautiful flower that if you touched it, would like kill you. It plants um, a seed in your brain, and it sprouts, and you become a new person. I might be spreading false information but i like saw on the news in miami which is like red flag one it's on the news in miami <laughs> um it's like florona it's the flu and covid together um so <laughs> we're literally done we're done no the craziest thing is all these okay this is another thing is all of our friends that are like testing negative 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 but are sick aren't testing themselves right Oh, fully. Because, um, like, if you're sick, uh, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's COVID. It could be the flu, but, like, all of them have been, like, exposed to COVID. So, I'm like, there's no way you're sick right now and it's not COVID and it's something else. But, like, I was, I watched this video and it was, like, telling you how to, like, properly test. If you have, like, a negative test, you should use the second one immediately. And it's like, okay, so they you, you do the nose swab, but for Omicron, it really, like, 
congregates in the back of your throat. So like if you test negative in your nose, you should test in the back of your throat with um, an at home test. And if it's negative with that, both those methods, then wait, you probably- wait, wait. Test the back of my throat? Yeah, you're the throat goat. <laughs> You I mean, it. It, it would be really easy. Honestly, I've like gone as far as testing like, like whatever is down here, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Your deep esophagus? <laughs> yeah, I don't test my throat. I actually test my like esophagus. Oh. Because like, I feel like the, the COVID is like all down here. So I just like. You get don't really, have to do like... that at all. You, you don't have to do that. Drew, I've been I mean, testing, not many people... um, I've been testing my butt. <laughs> <laughs> that's not okay kai it just sounds like you wanted to like finger your ass which is like you can tell us that you just and he's to sniffing finger his butt. fingers look <laughs> no i i like wash them since i did that so um my little vanity light has been ca- covering kai the whole time like I <laughs> my mic has been covering too. kai too <laughs> i had it done. It, it felt very yeah, weird when he moved up into your section. <laughs> like he moved up into the top, and like I had to turn his camera off one more time, and then move. What? To the <laughs> Stop turning my camera off! Come on, guys. Why do you want to be seen all of a sudden? Um, I just thought it'd be cool. It could be like a cool little, you know, we're doing like a special episode. You should and... be seen by a therapist. Mm. Don't be trying to be seen by us. Okay. All right, seen message received. Heard. Um, Kai, actually, I haven't spoken to how have you been? Um, I've been good. I woke up, I think I have coronavirus or Omicron, whatever. Where's your fucking mask? Dude, I'm in a room alone by myself. I don't think Yeah, I... but we're talking to each other, so really fucking safe of you. And yeah, I don't think Drew like understands how the internet works. I think we we need to explain to him that there's Hi, no yeah, I don't you don't have to explain 5g to me buddy you don't have to explain 5g to me <laughs> what kai isn't understanding is i will always pick your side so don't fucking talk to my girl like that kai yeah. like okay. put your fucking mask on if if drew says put your mask on put your mask on like you're just one of those people who you have to fight it which i find very i'm odd. not fighting anything we're on a zoom call like it I, it's not i'm not I gonna give you guys afraid of maskless people that's what I'm, I'm saying. A, we're, I'm afraid of maskless we're, people. We're technically in a room full of people right now. I don't know. Whatever. That's just me, though. Also, but if I, you're watching I, this I and you don't have a fucking that. mask on, what is your problem? True. Yeah. You're a freak if you go out unmasked, except for me. I just, like, I don't really... It fucks with my makeup, and I don't like that. So I'm not going to really do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it fucks with my makeup and gives New me, Year's like... Year's resolutions? Yes. Yes. Okay, I guess I'll go first. Um, so one of my New Year's resolutions is in 2022, I'm gonna be honking more, honking like my car horn more or Enya's car horn. That's a good one. I've actually thought about that. I feel like I don't honk enough. No, exactly. I'm gonna start being like a more like aggro driver. okay (laughs) what is that it (laughs) i mean that was one of them (laughs) let let me read this other fucking stupid ass note that i took that i was talking about earlier um never seen a moldy hot cheeto that that has got to be some strong ass bacteria to eat hot cheeto dust bacteria bacteria have you ever seen a moldy hot cheeto well, no, but I haven't seen moldy chips in general. Oh, I've seen moldy they chips, but I've never stale. seen a moldy hot Cheeto. And that's because maybe we need to look at the hot Cheeto coating because it could be antimicrobial and, oh my fucking God, antimicrobial. I got, oh, I'm just gonna... Hello, are we going to focus on the mic or me, baby? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sweaty again. I had to like shrink down in this corner. Stop. <laughs> fucking mic. I had to shrink down to here because it like the light doesn't reflect off my face properly. Drew, you honestly look fine. I think you look great. 
Yeah, I might. Just I was gonna say like... you look really good. I think you're just you're in your head. Oh, keep going. Um, you look really good, and I get super horny whenever I when I see your face. Did Anya leave? Okay. She left. You're not gonna leave though, right? Like, you're gonna stay you with me. You want me to leave, don't you? No, I don't want you to leave. I was just making sure. Drew, you, you would... should leave, Drew. Drew. You should yeah, leave. You should actually, leave him. So I disrespectful. Do Please go. don't leave. I'm gonna freak out in here alone. Please don't leave. Fuck. All right. So I guess I could just do the podcast. No, on. you're not supposed to be talking. You're literally not supposed to be talking. Okay. Um. You're an attention whore. I. You guys literally left. Like I didn't. I mean, I didn't know what to do. Oh, so now it's the when Anya and Drew leave. It's the Kai podcast. That's what Dude, the title I was is. Just, I was just trying to, you know. It's interesting, actually. <laughs> Dude, the voices <laughs> without the video is really crazy. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Can I carry the podcast for a second? Okay. Wait, what? No. Why does he have to hold carry on, it? Ow. All right. So <laughs> basically, the way that cryptocurrency works. No! Oh my god, I'm going to freak the fuck out. Shut up. No. He Hi, asked me to carry the podcast. Oh. Hi. God. Your 2022 resolution should be to ground yourself in reality with some <laughs> bitches and get over NFTs and crypto. That's what that's what 2022 resolutions for all you NFT bitches should be is look for bitches in real life. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was actually Drew for a second. Oh my god. When you I forget what episode it was when you were like, uh, there's no bitches in the metaverse. That was like, one of the most iconic things in you so yeah. has ever said. It did it did not get enough love. Simply. It was fucking hilarious. Well, you know, jokes are funnier when they come out of the mouths of men. See, I can be I can be for men, like um, people only listen when men are in the room, like when men are in the room, they dominate the room by default. Like I can say things that are positive about men too. Wait, I ha- there's no bitches in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Zero bitches in let's the metaverse. Oh, let's go. That was actually really can someone clip that? Can someone clip that? We're not on Twitch. What the fuck are you talking about, Kai? Who are you talking to? How about you find some bitches in the metaverse? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're not fuck? even in. You weren't even in focus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I wasn't. You were. Look at this oh. silly little camera. Um, What are your other resolutions, Drew? It can't just be honking in my fucking car. <laughs> It actually can be. Uh, No, legitimately, one of my resolutions is I want to try to gain 15 pounds of muscle by June. Actually, do you want to split um, a gym membership? Uh, Yes, actually. I want to do that with you and Orion so bad where we do that three-way one. And it can can it fucking focus on me? Damn. Um, You look beautiful. Thank you. I want to do but the one sit up because you're not in focus. Ever. But I have to sit down here because I'm like ad- I'm hella greasy. <laughs> you don't look greasy. Just put the blur up on Zoom and you'll look beautiful. <laughs> oh, wait, the is there a way to do that? Section. Yeah. You can How do I do that? It. Um go to preferences and Where's then that? I don't know, you're on a PC. Uh, you can look pretty like me. Um but yeah, no, I am so down to um do to a go. gym membership three ways, two ways. Dude, we fully should because I would love to. I was thinking about going on more bike rides as one of my solutions and just like working out a little bit because that was like probably the best I felt it was like when I was working out just to like get my like endorphins moving and I felt yeah. really good. Um, and I want to do that. And then I thought about how I would have to definitely take my bike to a bike shop because there's no way that the tire isn't flat on it. 
And I immediately was like, I'm never going to do that. I'm just like, never, that's never <laughs> yeah, going to happen. The, the dream dies there. Um, but yeah, no, legitimately, I do want to like, I want to just get healthier. Um, I know everybody fucking says that, but um, yeah, I think it's time for me to start like using my fucking body a little bit and not just be like sedentary all the time and rotting. You could use your body in a uh, bedroom setting, preferably at night with me. I could just like bench press you. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. What? It, um. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, the way that uh, blockchains work is instead of having like a centralized um, database, you take that. You take that. You centralized just... my foot right up your fucking ass <laughs> that's I what i'm gonna what an nft is oh okay yeah i can explain that okay now do you actually not have any more resolutions you've only talked about honking your i guess no you want to get healthy yeah i um uh i have um that i want to appreciate and rejuvenate is that the saying that girl says she says innovate and elevate she actually took out innovate i don't know why though what's the t there why'd you take out innovate i don't know yeah but i want to appreciate a little more um and that's my vibe um my vibe is to be more um, incoherent. I don't want to have big, lengthy conversations about moral dilemmas or like moral ideology and integrity. I don't care about integrity. I care about having fun, looking good, yep. having sex. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's it. That's literally all I care about for 2022. That's actually like really fucking powerful. No, actually, something that I told Kai is I, I want to try dating this year. Girl, what the hell? I know. Oh, is it because you're terrified that you're about to turn 24? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> actually, it is. No, no. I just was like, I've been, like, um, alone forever. And I think I, I've grown up enough where, like, I kind of like know myself a lot more now and I think I'm ready to just like figure that whole dating shit out. That would be fucking awesome. But also oh my I'm God, like simultaneously you... terrified because I think what I'm looking at a, for in a partner doesn't exist. So you said yeah. what you're looking for in a partner doesn't exist. Yeah. What are you looking for in a partner? I don't know. That's the thing. It doesn't exist. I have very high expectations in other people and yeah. Hmm. I love dating. I'll put my life on the line today. <laughs> I want a partner and I want friends. That's literally all I care about and clothes and looking pretty and having sex. Um, yeah. And, and being having powerful. conversations. Yeah, I think this is like a good year to just like have very surface level conversations with everybody no literally i'm so fucking tired of getting into like nauseatingly long conversations some people are gonna get so annoyed with me because like the more the podcast goes on the more i show my colors of just being like pretty like surface level and like i don't give a fuck but trust me at one point i was the most like no we need to talk about it. We need like high communication. We need this, that. No, 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 no more. I want, <laughs> I want nothingness. I want to have fun. I want to shake my ass. I don't want to do anything intense. No. Something else actually for 2022 that I want to do is like, like, I feel like the second half of 2021, like we worked our asses off and I also want to carry that into 2022 and I want to just like drown myself in work, not like drown myself in work, but just like, like do every opportunity that comes my way and like, um, 
just kind of say yes to more like to like advancing my career I feel like um I feel like that's like yeah because I've I've been like stuck in this mind state where I'm like no like I'm very comfortable where I'm at like I like I love the people that I've like like the audience that I've garnered but no I'm going I'm going big like I want to I want to expand go big or go home exactly and also that that starts with um everyone who's watching us stop fucking gatekeeping me and then yeah stop gatekeeping <laughs> us bitch how about that tell i your, think tell your family the, the problem we're, we'll run into is that um the people who do stumble upon this gatekeep it not because they want to gatekeep it but because they know their normal friends won't like it yeah and they'll get made fun of they're embarrassed <laughs> to share us with the world which is understandable it's like one of those things where like you get in the car and like the the song at the top of apple music is playing like that's just the one that automatically plays and that one can be really embarrassing that's yeah. how people feel about the podcast is like they'll be like oh can i get the ox and they get it and the last thing playing was this and it starts playing and they're like oh my god sorry i was just like I was I was just cleaning my room and I just needed like like nothing like I sorry I was just hate listening to them actually (laughs) that's crazy we do I'm sure we have to have some hate listeners and I wonder if we've converted any hate listeners to yeah actually if you're if you were originally no exactly if you were originally a hate listener leave a comment let us know if you love us now but if you still hate us go die stinky bitch (laughs) sweaty stinky bitch if you if you are listening to this with hateful ears right now i'm gonna blow up a balloon with my covid breath and go in your face and fucking (laughs) pop it (laughs) on new year's eve we had balloons and my mom was blowing them up with her fucking covid (laughs) breath and i literally said there i was like you're across the table from me right now creating like nuclear bombs (laughs) yeah you're literally creating bombs (laughs) it was like that one joke in the very beginning of the pandemic where she was like I'm gonna she put like breathe into a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, her name is like Riley on TikTok. Yeah. That yeah, that's so funny. That's literally what my mom was doing. I was like, you're lucky everyone here already has COVID because if you didn't know you were symptomatic and you're sitting here blowing these things up, <laughs> you would fucking kill someone. <laughs> um and yeah, but actually. On a serious note, a resolution, a few resolutions of mine is to read more books. I would like to actually read more books and stop buying books, like read the books I have. Um, work more, work harder. <laughs> um, and kind of, I am serious about like being more chill. Like I, I don't want to have like any of the anxiety I've had for two years about like morally being good and like trying to prove I'm good like I'm a good person and I'm like over trying to prove it like I'm a good person and I give good head like I don't know why like I have to like sit here and fight like for like like to prove that um and yeah that's kind of it oh and grow my hair if by the end of the year my hair isn't past my fucking tit Let's just say, Drew, you will find a new host. You will, you will, I give you permission to move on. Kai, you're probably first in line. Okay, no, actually, that's the one yeah. thing is Kai can't, Kai can't replace me. You, you have to get oh. like Orion. Okay. Okay, yeah, actually, that's perfect. Yeah, you have to get like, um, my three contestants are like Orion, Elsie, or like Elisa. Those are the ones that can, it has to be another girl. You can't, what, y'all are just gonna have like the white guys who like, like crypto and stuff. <laughs> podcast there's like 80 there's literally 80 of those like (laughs) but maybe number four would be me on that list you didn't what are you talking about number four i think kai you are like number 18 oh 18 safely maybe 20 because i could i could think of a lot i could think of a lot of people 20 it's okay okay. yeah no it's fine i mean you can climb the ranks a little bit i'm not gonna tell you how I think you know how. I I do I do know how. I have to I have to give you head. I, I understand how to do this. I, I know I know what you're talking it's, about. It's the industry. I I can't even say what I was gonna say. Because if it happens, we lost, let's just say what I, no. 
I can't. I can't say it. I can't put that into the world. No, say it. You have to. I have wood to knock on. Okay. I have wood, too, because I do have a bulging penis under my blanket right now. That's what my wood was. <laughs> oh, Drew. Yeah. Um, because I was gonna say I was gonna be like, no, the fourth runner up to replace me would be Fran Lebowitz. Duh. Oh. And then I was like thinking about like Eve Babbitt and Joan Didion and Betty White, like all passing. And I was like, <gasps> girl, how Fran? old is she? She's a bag of bones. I don't think she's that old. She's just, I feel like she's like 78 now. Mm, I don't know. She might be. Yeah, she might be 70 something. Oh, she's 71. Oh, she's got time. Hopefully. Lad's got time. Should I just start reading some of my notes? Um, You guys didn't ask me what my resolution oh, was. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm sorry, Kai. I'm being mean to you. Okay. What's your resolution as long as it has nothing to do with crypto and NFT and it has to do with real life, maybe getting a new sweater or like new shoes or something? <laughs> All right. Um, so I just like, I was thinking about it and I was like, I want to do like a real one, obviously. And yeah. uh, I kind of, for <laughs> no, Enya, come back, come back. I'm serious. This is like, this is like serious. Um, for my resolution, I want to like have less sex. I just I had too much last year, so. Oh, can you hear me still? You guys can hear me, right? The only number that's less than two but more than zero is one. So he, he wants to have sex once because he said he just needs to have sex less times oh, than he did yeah. this year. So it's like, so you who just is he having have sex with? <laughs> Kai, who are you having sex with? Um, I've been having sex with Drew. I've been having. Um, I think it's muted off the um rest of the like the video recording. I just wanted to apologize, Enya. Um, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. You like you know how I feel about like having sex with people and like it is that serious for me. So the fact that you would even come to my face and tell me that's not that serious when it is for me, like you know you, you're my if, little if, cream pie. If you didn't already have COVID, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Wait, why is no one calling somebody their cream pie? I want to be someone's. I want to be someone's cream pie. Girl. yeah. Oh wait, I have to invite Kai back to video. Okay, <laughs> okay. so I'm just gonna start reading my. Um, I was just waiting. I was like, damn, they're just not gonna give me the camera back. <laughs> Kai, what's your real resolution though? If you have, um, my real resolution is to not be so dictated by fear. I feel like. A lot of my decisions, if I'm really honest with myself, are kind of rooted in like fear and just worrying about what the outcome is going to be instead of just doing it because I want to do it or if I think it's best for me. That's fucking wow. awesome. Yeah, that's like um, I was talking with Quinn and she was just like kind of explaining like sort of the same thing. She was just saying like uh, the second like it's it's not really the same thing which it's like this quote it's like the second you start creating for like financial um purposes like god leaves the uh room and it, that really resonated with me in a way because i was like oh like not everything i create is for like financial gain but like i have like f found myself like um doing less because it's not profiting me as much as possible. And I think that's another thing for me this year is to just like create more um, just for myself type vibe. Um, that's fucking awesome, Kai. And also you, Drew. Yeah, I feel like I don't really, I don't know if I'm dictated by fear. Um, 
but I am like I one thing I do want to let go of is like anxieties with like timing and feeling like I have to be doing certain things work-wise I need to get better with that so like that maybe kind of coincides a little is like I always see people going on these like granted who knows if we're gonna fucking be able to travel because god forbid there's a fucking other lockdown but something I think about a lot is like there's like a lot of like places I want to go and something that always stops me is I get like really anxious about like the timing of it and like like oh but if I do this then I'm not working and like blah 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 blah. and I want to kind of let go of that and like have more experiences that aren't my like normal just like random key experiences i want to go out also that's, key not like k-e-y but like key like k-i like that's something i was thinking about i was like when you said that on the podcast i was like how many people think inya is like a cokehead <laughs> that, that she just does bump key bumps i need a key, key right now i like I need, need a key, a key. <laughs> um a key let's have a key key um yeah like uh that's another thing it's like spending money on experiences uh is like something I want to like start doing is like, cause like all, we all know that like, I literally hoard my wealth. I'm like the problem in America. I hoard my wealth and I want to start spending it on experiences. And I'm the complete opposite. I don't hoard any money. I don't think it's real. And I have a problem. <laughs> and that's why that's we have emergency actually, intercom. That's actually something I should have a resolution for in 2022 is to be better with spending, except since I've been sick, and just at home, I've been ordering things. <laughs> you've been trapped in your bedroom, so that's what you've been doing is ordering. Oh my God, Drew, I got the cutest necklace pendant mm-hmm. ever. I'm literally going to show you on here. And then maybe we should get into media. Yeah, I have one more note that I want to read. Go um, for it. But um, it's kind of really gnarly. So when I first came to Texas, I like felt fine. Um, And then like two days after I got here, oh, you got one? Holy shit, it's so fucking cute. Wow, that's such a cute necklace. Aw. But when I first got here, uh, I don't know what the fuck I ate. I think it was like my grandma sent one of those like, like charcuterie board in a box things and like they were like uh like gourmet slim gyms in it or whatever and i like uh was like i'm gonna um uh eat a bunch of these so i like started eating like a shit ton of these like gourmet slim gyms and i ate like fucking five of them and like immediately my stomach was like oh what the fuck did you just do to us and then, like, for the next two days, I swear to fucking God on my entire life, I was actually shitting oil, like orange oil. Like, there would be, like, oil slick on the top of the toilet water, and it was, like, beads of orange oil. It was the strangest thing of my life. And I, my stomach was so upset. It was fucking insane. It was literally beads of oil. And I would flush the toilet, and they wouldn't go away. So I had to like flush like three times. Are you sure this wasn't just like a nightmare that you no, had? No, I swear to God. So it what? Like, like, why did this come up? Uh, it's just in my notes. <laughs> I just I needed to talk about it. But I shit orange oil, and I was like, okay, am I tripping or like, like, <laughs> like, am I dying? So I like googled it, and it's like something if you eat like really fatty food or this certain type of fish, um, or like a bunch of these certain type of nuts. And I didn't think I ate any of that, but I'm assuming it was just like really oily meat sticks that like made me actually shit oil. Like I was like, I should have fucking collected it and put it in my mom's yeah, car and, sold and drove it. that around. Um, yeah. But no, and I thought I was tripping, but I, when I was telling my dad the story, he was like, I was wondering what that was in the toilet. <laughs> he was like, there's orange beads in the toilet. Literally me because my shit always leaves skid marks and y'all are like, what is that? I'm like, ooh, a little <laughs> snack for later. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you for sharing. I got you. I'm going to start with my media because I'm about to piss and shit myself. Um, let's think. Let's think. 
what i feel like i've watched a movie oh my media is true story it's the show with kevin hart in it i'm entering a loving kevin hart era yes i used to be a kevin hart hater like most people my age but i think he's an awesome actor i might have even said this in the last episode but i finished the show so i don't think i did but true story is fucking awesome it's very just like like drama for drama Mm -hmm. um and then for oh i read slow days fast company by eve babbitt rest in peace um so good duh such a fun read also made me like on top of being stuck in miami that book i'm like I need to go back to LA right now. And I haven't felt like the urge or love or want for being in LA in a long time. So that book is really good because she's just like unapologetically like so into being in LA. Awesome. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I do like it there. (laughs) And then uh, for media, Bavarian Fruit Bread by Hope Sandoval and The Warm Inventions or is it Intentions? Yeah, and The Warm Inventions. Um, Fallen by Lauren Wood and Not A Lot Just Forever by Adrian Lenker. Yes. Um, okay. The uh, Eve Babbitt's recommendation was awesome. I want to read that. Um, there's another... There's a book that I've been meaning to read uh, by another, the late Joan Didion that Orion recommended to me recently. Blue Nights? Um, yes, yes. Um, but I, I have that know. one. Oh, we should start reading it together. I would actually it, be I, down. I, Is it a sad book, though? Yeah, because um, I think that's about, that about um, the, the, her grieving. Yeah, the grieving one. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do that because that's another thing um kai inspired this one but like i'm avoiding like everything that i don't even know this is probably something everyone does but like i'm avoiding everything that like makes me sad and existential like in 2022 like if if i if i like if it's not actively making me like happy maybe maybe that's what it is i'm gonna have like a hedonistic 2022 except like not like fully hedonistic but like I'm just going to do everything that makes me happy and like avoid all the shit like that, like stimulates me intellectually, intellectually, but like makes me fucking cry myself to sleep at night. Um, but yeah, uh, my songs for this week are all over the shop by Luke Sanger. Um, Half blood Prince by baby Tron. Um, Four horsemen by Jacob Er. And this one's for you, and you, Otis by the Dirty Column. Um, oh, yeah, I the love, Dirty Column. I love the um, like, because most of the Dirty Column's music, if I'm not wrong, is just like, like modulated guitar, like run through a bunch of pedals. Yeah. Um, but this one has like some nice percussion in it, and it's really, really fun. Um. And then I've just been watching a bunch of, like, shitty TV and YouTube, so I don't really have any media. Um, I did watch uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, and Oh, that is something I watched, too. Yeah, that was fucking really fun. Um, and that's another thing is, like, I'm going to start appreciating literally all the media that's put out into the world um, instead of, like, having, like, pretentious brain i think i've already been doing that though for the last two years but like i'm gonna just start enjoying everything um and like that was just like an unforgettable like cinema experience like um for i think like myself and i just really loved it it was really fun dude wasn't it so fun like i won't spoil everything even though i feel like everybody in the world has seen that movie but like when everyone would cra- clap when certain yeah. like characters came up and it was just like, dude, I, wa- I went into watching that having no idea what it was about. And even I was like, oh, no, I was genuinely blown away by all of the like all of the crazy shit that happened. Like I, I same like when all of the yeah, I won't get into it, but 
yeah, that was really a blast. And if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure everyone who has here is watching this has seen it, go watch that. Um, and that's my media. I will say it also made me realize I was such a Spider-Man kid when I was a kid. Like I watched every single Spider-Man movie. Like it was one of my repeat movies. And we also had all the games on PS2 and like even up to PS3. Those games are so fucking fun. I like need to, we should get Spider-Man for my PS2 and like play Ooh, it again. It's like so fucking fun. Um, nice. And yeah. Well, um, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Um, it was a little weird one, but we had to quarantine. So I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Uh, happy New Year. I hope all of your dreams come true. And I hope... You have a triumphant 2022. Also, fuck you, TikTok, for taking my video down. Everyone yeah, probably saw that so and was cute. like, oh, he took it down because it didn't have enough likes. No, I took it down because fucking TikTok took it down. Asshole. Why did they even take it down? For harmful activity? I don't fucking know. Maybe it was me holding a gun, but I was like, literally 30 videos on my feed today were had people holding guns in them, so I don't know. Fucking stupid. All right, well, thank you guys for listening. Hopefully... Next episode, we'll be back in our grimy little corner. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Bye.